Okay. This is the upstairs hall bathroom. Listen to that commode. What's going on here? You don't want to act right? Ooh, man. That reservoir is loose. I'm just going to leave that off for another video. Because this isn't a bathroom video, this is the attic video. This is the pull down ladder, it's right in here. It's not insulated, it's not fire blocked. Also notice that we do not have a smoke alarm. In fact, uh, there's not an operable smoke alarm in this house. Missing from that bedroom, missing from that bedroom, missing from that bedroom, missing from that bedroom. Missing from the hall, the one downstairs is inoperable. But we're not here for smoke alarms either. Okay, this ladder is not fire blocked. This ladder is not lined to keep insulation from falling down. This ladder was screwed into place. Screwed into place. At least they put them in the right places, the right locations. But no, it's supposed to be lag bolts or nails. So, wrong kind of fasteners. In the attic, what do we have here? Loose fill insulation. OSB decking. Passive exhaust vents. Used to be a power vent up there. Look at that. Look at all those electric wires hanging loose. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's keep on going. Got a light up here? Yeah, we do. You're supposed to have a light. We got one. Okay, where are these power vents? It's good that they took them out because I would have called that in need of repair. I would have called that deficient. It's good that they were taken out. But when they took them out, they should have taken all this electric cable out. These electric circuits were not properly terminated. Is that what I think it is? That's the flu, okay. It's not what I thought it was. Well, that flu should have been, um, it shouldn't have had tape on it. All right, it should fit together on its own. This um, air duct, it's okay for it to be on the attic floor if it goes perpendicular to the ceiling joist, but when it goes parallel to the ceiling joist, it's supposed to be picked up. So we picked up, we're missing a little bit of insulation right over there. We're missing a little bit, of, well that's a, that's the wall. But some of the insulation's coming loose. Um, loose fill, maybe 10 inches. See those pillows? It looks like pillows, pillows going across there. Those are trails. And those are not people trails, those are mouse trails. And I could not find a difference in the insulation. Uh, infrared imaging did not show us um, that the insulation was lacking over there. Do not show us that the insulation was lacking here because the outside temperature and inside temperature were pretty close to the same. So the infrared imaging didn't work real well today. We did try, but we see it. You don't need an infrared camera to see the insulation is lacking. Now the insulation should not be next to that white can light. So if you come in and add some insulation, a box needs to be rebuilt around this and then the insulation added in that way. Um, we got kinked air duct. Kinked air duct. Alright. And... What kind of a vent is that? I'm supposing that's a bathroom vent, but I don't, I don't see. I don't see it. <coughs> Alright, we have soffit air intake vents. That's what the daylight. See the daylight over there? Daylight, daylight. And we should have soffit baffles. The framing basically looks pretty well. Was looking good. Was looking good that we got up here. That's not made very well. I think they could have done that a little better, huh? I got a little bit of a split rafter right there. What's it look like on the other side? Try not to fall through, because somebody did. Looks a little better over here. Okay. I see what happened. I think I do.
What really should have happened is this ridge beam should have been wider. This ridge beam was undersized. It should not be narrower than the hip ridges. Shouldn't be. That's what I'm looking up over here. Try not to fall through. Uh, it looks like we got... Was that milled? Was that cut? That's okay. It looks ugly, but that's okay. Yeah, they bird tailed it because this board wasn't long enough. All right. Still should have been a larger ridge. It's kind of kind of fun looking. I think I would have scabbed on something next to that, but I can't come up with something that's technically wrong. I'm saying that it could have been technically better. And it's supported right here. The strut. That's okay. That's okay. That could have been better. We can see that the roof was nailed on. Roof covering. Clips. All right, so what did we learn? We learned that our ladder wasn't properly fastened. It was not properly fire blocked and insulated. We did not have a protective dam. We do not have depth markers in the insulation and we got evidence of rodent infiltration. We're missing where we have loose insulation in a couple areas. Um, we learned that the, it's just crazy. We learned that the top ridge beam was undersized. We learned that some of our air conditioning duct is kinked. Some of our air conditioning duct is laying on the floor. We learned that we do not have soffit baffles. We learned that when they took the power vents out, they should have gotten rid of the electrical as well. We learned that our flu, and that's going to be in another video, um, I haven't made it yet, but I know, um, but uh, we got um, tape on our flu.